Mitsui & Co. Limited has announced its consolidated financial results for the fiscal year ended March 2023, IFRS, with a 23.6% increase in net profit to 1.1306 trillion yen, the highest in history. This is the first time a trading company has achieved a net profit exceeding 1 trillion yen, due to the increase in resource prices such as crude oil and liquefied natural gas (LNG), as well as the weakened yen. However, the forecast for FY324 predicts a 22.2% decrease in net profit to 880 billion yen, assuming a pause in resource prices. Mitsubishi Corporation also expects to exceed 1 trillion yen in net profit for the fiscal year and will announce its financial results on March 9. Convenience stores and hotels are embracing virtual reality VR, to train their staff on customer service. The advantage of using virtual reality is that it allows employees to practice realistic situations instead of simply receiving oral or manual instructions. This is becoming more important as labor shortages affect these industries. Family Mart recently introduced virtual reality training for its staff in Tokyo, while the Kyoto Hotel Tourism and Bridal College has also developed a VR education program. Virtual reality training is proving to be more efficient and affordable compared to conventional training. Zen Japan Airlift Co. Limited announced that it will reduce carbon dioxide (CO2) emissions to near zero on all flights to and from Hiroshima Airport in May. With this initiative, all Nippon Airways ANA, hopes to contribute to the fight against climate change and promote decarbonization in the aviation industry. Three routes will be covered and a CO2 reduction of around 10,000 tons is expected during the month. The initiative coincides with the G7 summit to be held in Hiroshima on June 19. Japan's sake is experiencing a surge in export to the United States, with export value having tripled in the past 10 years. Large-scale sake breweries are brewing sake to suit the tastes of Americans. Also, there is a movement underway to establish a new sake breweries in the United States. In Arkansas, the Origami Sake Brewery plans to produce Junmai Sake in a large area of 2,200 square meters with the goal of achieving annual sales of 500,000 liters and $10 million. The whale watching season round Amami Oshima has been a success, with a total of 1,696 confirmed humpback whales in 2023. Although it did not break the previous season's record, it was the second season in a row to exceed 1,500 whales. Mother and daughter whales represented 20% of the total groups sighted. In addition, the whales were found to be moving along the island and in the waters near neighboring Kikai Island. Whale watching has also grown in popularity, with a 27% increase in the number of participants compared to the previous season. Athletes from Japan's national team are conducting a training camp in Tokyo for the World Para Swimming Championships to be held in the UK in July. The best Japanese swimmers will be selected to represent the country at the Paralympic Games in Paris. Keiichi Kimura, a Paralympic gold medalist in Tokyo, is working on his technique to improve his performance. Nuhide Yamaguchi, world record holder in the 100m breaststroke, is looking to break the record at the World Championships and win his second straight Paralympic Games gold medal. Zai Corporation and a research team have developed algae that release the components of petroleum to produce biofuel efficiently and at low cost. By strengthening the action of specific genes, 31 mg of oil can be produced per gram of algae per day. The company will continue to improve the product to match the conventional method of production of 120 mg. 
it is expected to be able to sell biofuel at a price similar to gasoline in the range of 100 yen per litre. Sakai City has installed a drink vending machine close to expiration date at the government office to reduce food loss and achieve the SDGs. The products sell for about 20% off the regular price and have become so popular that they sell out quickly after restocking. The vending machine is located in the corner of the three horizontal vending machines in the main city hall building and has been dubbed SDG's Beverage Corner. The city plans to add more facilities outside the government building to inspire people to think about reducing waste. On the afternoon of May 5, an earthquake struck the Nota region in Ishikawa Prefecture, Japan. The city of Suzu experienced an earthquake intensity of more than 6, while the city of Nota registered an earthquake intensity of 5. Fortunately, according to the Japan Meteorological Agency, there is no risk of tsunami. Other affected cities include Kanazawa, Nana and Kamatsu with a seismic intensity of 4. The depth of the epicenter was 10 km and the earthquake magnitude is estimated at 6.3. Synthetic hydrogels may aid in brain healing, according to research from Hokkaido University. Hydrogels provide an effective scaffold for neural tissue growth in areas of brain damage, which could provide an approach for brain tissue reconstruction. The interdisciplinary team of researchers developed a hydrogel material in which neural stem cells could survive and grow. Once the gels were optimized, they were soaked in a growth factor serum to stimulate blood vessel growth, and then implanted into damaged areas of the brain in a mouse model. After three weeks, the researchers found that immune cells and neural cells from the host's surrounding brain tissue had entered the hydrogel and that blood vessels had grown. The researcher has worked hard to get the data, please like, subscribe and share.